You are now watching Brew News. Your number one source in world news. Go f yourself. Greetings, bros, to the millions of loyal viewers around the world. You are watching Brew News, your number one source in world news. Starting off this broadcast, I'm going to go ahead and report something that I think is fake news, but I feel obligated to share with you because it came through a trusted source. Word has it that there is some type of clandestine operation by insiders within the government to facilitate the United States of America going fascist and joining Germany and Italy. This it has to be a mistake. Just getting some leaked documents in from my sources in the White House. Looks like there's a little bit of crony capitalism going on. Yeah, it's definitely corruption, uh, but don't... I'm gonna do it anyways. We are getting a breaking news in here at Brew News. The Spanish Civil War has just started. Um... I think it's fake news. I think, uh, Europe is going to see nothing but peace for a, at least a couple centuries. There's not gonna be another great war. This just in, some more breaking news out of the White House. House hearings into presidential misconduct. They must have found out about that whole Nebraska deal. Drain the swamp, I say. This just in, bros, huge news coming from the U.S. Elections of 1936. Where people were just pissed off at Franklin Delano Roosevelt's crony capitalism and have instead decided to go with Republican Alf Landon. Coming from an oil industry. Oh, well, there should be no corruption there. This just in, we are getting breaking news out of the Soviet Union. There has apparently been some leadership purges. Uh, the information we're getting is there's been some secret trials of the highest level. And then um, you have some generals and some ministers that just disappear from the public eye. Maybe they went on vacation. In other news from Europe, we are getting a renewal of the Rome Protocol. See, there is going to be peace in Europe. So, yeah, uh, they renewed this uh, Rome Protocol, originally signed in 1934. Essentially a declaration of friendship, and there you have it. Everybody in Europe are just going to be friends. Breaking news coming from the U.S. government in a much surprise policy shift. Alf Landry is re-establishing the gold standard. In another shift in U.S. policy, President Alf Landon is proposing an American first policy. All I have to agree with it. America first. More breaking news out of Europe. Apparently, Germany has remilitarized the Rhineland. Uh, I don't... It's probably fake news again. Europe is going to be peaceful. I'm telling you. Breaking news in from Europe. The Spanish Civil War has ended. I don't know how something can end that never even really started. Fake news. We are getting more breaking news out of Europe. France and Britain has announced an alliance. See what I'm telling you? Everybody is friendly. Everybody is in alliances. It's all about friendship right now in Europe. In more breaking news coming out of Europe. And just another show of friendship and cooperation here. Poland seeks Baltic cooperation. I bet you guys didn't believe me when I told you. And I stick by it. Peace in Europe. In more breaking news, or should I say fake news coming out of Europe, the Anschluss of Austria has apparently occurred. I think there's just a bunch of fear-mongering going on in Europe. Everybody knows it's cooperation and friendship. Shocking news coming out of the U.S. here on Brew News. You're hearing it first. 
A fascist sympathizer has just been given a political advisor job in the administration of Alf Landon. This is absolutely shocking. All right, we've got some more breaking news coming out of Europe. Apparently, the German Reich declared war on Czechoslovakia. The Sudeten crisis. Look, this is all out of friendship, right? I, I'm pretty sure this is like a... Um, Sometimes friends argue and fight a little bit. That's all it is. We are getting a little bit of policy news coming in from the Alva Landon government. They have decided to extend the Chinese Exclusion Acts. Racists, I think. News in from Europe has Czechoslovakia capitulating in yet another hit on crony capitalism. The Senate is now investigating shipbuilding in Texas. Do they not have anything better to do? This just in, it seems like all the news right now is coming out of Europe. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. In more news, yet more news, I'm being, I'm becoming bored with European news. Ooh, yeah, second Vienna award treaty has been signed, Vienna following Germany arbitration that will see Northern Transylvania restored to Hungarian rule. All right. And then you got Hungary, join the Axis. Okay. When some real news coming out. Finally, some news out of a different region in the world. Communist China has declared war on Jibei Sam Ma. Thank you. Communist China has now declared war on Shangxi. Noise. More news out of Europe. Yugoslavia has now joined the Axis. The United Kingdom declared war on Yugoslavia. Uh, what the hell's going on? I don't get it. I thought we were all friends in Europe. Somebody is spreading fake news and lies. The Yugoslavian Confederation has joined the Allies. Oh, that should be great. I don't see any problems there. Italy has now joined the Axis. The Zog submits to Italy. Breaking news coming out of Brew News. We are the first to report this and it is absolute insanity. Policy decisions being made in the White House right now is an absolute shitstorm. For some reason... Alf Landon has decided to ally with the Silver Shirts, which are the fascist party. This makes no damn sense. Yugoslavian Confederation has capitulated, apparently. I come to you tonight from the Brew News Studios to ask for forgiveness. I must retract my former statements about peace in Europe. As you can see... There will be no peace in Europe. Germany and Italy have simultaneously launched an attack on the poor, almost helpless French army, French population, and hot Parisian women. In domestic news coming out of the U.S. capital, we are getting some protests. Uh, in particular... The protesters are demanding that the president denounce the Silver Legion and publicly assure them that the rights as voters will be respected. And obviously, President Alf Landon has refused to comment on the issue. Remember, President Alf Landon had allied himself with the American fascist movement, the Silver Shirts, and that is what has set off these protests in the Capitol. We will be up all night, a 24-hour news cycle here at Brew News to bring you all the updates from these protests. In what is surely going to piss the protesters off even more, President Alf Landon is inviting foreign support. And word has it there are talks that he is going to send Lindbergh to Germany. I have a feeling, as a veteran news reporter who has never got anything wrong, this is going to end bad.
This just in, breaking news out of Paris. I've been calling it the whole time. The Germans were going to storm into France and and there we have it. They have done just that. Paris has fallen, France has capitulated. Breaking domestic news, coming in here to Brew News, the protests in the capital have spread across the nation. The 10 million march, uh, people are pissed. Where previously the protesters demanded that the president distance himself from more radical ideologies, they have now come to demand his immediate removal from office. Exactly. How do they propose to enforce that demand? We are getting word in that there are soldiers deserting. It appears that there is a concentrated effort going on to get soldiers from the southern states to return home. So they like cupcakes, who cares? Ah, uh, here we go. The United Kingdom exerts influence in Turkey. What influence? <laughs> Am I right? What influence? Breaking news in the policy of Alf Landon. He is indeed sending Lindbergh to Germany. Getting closer ties with the German people that now control a large portion of Europe. We are getting news in from different parts of the country. Armories are being raided, this time in my own state of Kansas. There was an armory raided. This is indeed troubling news. Citizens are forming militias. Informants have reported that these armed groups held regular meetings and had tried to gain access to Infantry training manuals. Just go on, just Google it, am I right? We are getting breaking news out of Europe. Germany has just declared on Poland. Poland obviously refused the ultimatum and free France pursues nuclear technology. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. More armories are being raided. This is insane. This time around in North Dakota. More news coming out of Europe. Germany pressures towards Benelux. There is reason to believe that the German Reich is unable to get what they want by diplomacy. They will take it by force. Europe is turning into a godforsaken bloodbath. More desertions in the U.S. Senators are retiring and citizens are still forming militias. In absolute shocking news coming out of the U.S. For the second time in history, a rebellion has begun in Boston. A Boston Citizens Committee has taken over control of the city like and is reportedly cooperating with the rebels. Other states in New England have passed motions of support stating they no longer consider themselves bound by any law signed by President Alf Landon. Instead, they call on all state governments in the United States to declare the president deposed, Congress dissolved, and to hold new elections. The Democrats are calling themselves the Constitutionalists and have taken over most of New England, while the former ruling party of Republicans have now become non-aligned and have taken on the name of the Loyalists. The Second American Civil War. You're a little bit late, bros. Who is this world news? They, they're the shittiest news outlet I have ever seen. Rebellion spreads to the West Coast. California, Oregon, and Washington have declared their support of the Boston government. I've got seven troops. I've got seven troops to fight a two-front war. I mean, not I. The, the loyalists. Soon to become fascists, I think. 
if my if my inside whistleblowers are correct. And what is going to be a major plus for the loyalists, they are able to call upon the Silver Legions and recruit some fascist regiments. That was much needed. For breaking news coming out of the American Civil War, the East Coast has now joined the rebellion. New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. Breaking news coming in from the American Civil War. Now the Midwest has seceded. Um, Ohio, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. This is not looking good for the Loyalists. Now, now look at that. 13 armies to... I mean, they've lost the West Coast completely. More breaking news coming in from the American Civil War. Now the Southwest has seceded Nevada, Arizona, Utah, New Mexico, and Colorado. The Loyalists are not going to have anything le Now the Northwest... Uh, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, uh, everybody is... Oh, and the Midwest, yeah, Dakotas, Iowa, Minnesota, and Nebraska. Wow. Well, there went two-thirds of your territory. The Loyalists right now are battling it out in the Northeast, taking back territory while losing it everywhere else. The great General MacArthur has now offered to lead the government. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I would say so. Breaking news coming out of Europe, and I don't know why this put a smile on my face. I shouldn't have. I am completely non-biased, non-aligned. I am absolutely 100% independent. But when Germany declared on Switzerland, it just made me happy. The Loyalists are indeed very desperate. They are quick training their units. These guys have barely learned how to wipe themselves. And they are being sent off to war. This just in breaking news. The Constitutionalists have now joined the Allies. This could actually end... Th this is exactly what I was about to say. The Constitutionalists joining the Allies could actually help the Loyalists because you know the Axis powers were going to ask them to join up. The German Reich has invited the Loyalist faction, the Silver Legion, to join the Axis powers. Indeed, this could be the only thing that saves us. I mean, them. Switzerland has capitulated breaking news out of Europe. Here is what the Loyalist versus the Constitutionalist civil war in the U.S. is looking like. The Loyalists are getting absolutely stomped. More Silver Legion troops are being called up as we speak. Perhaps this will stop the absolute hemorrhaging of territory. With no troops to defend the central states of the U.S., the Loyalists are just giving it up. Italy is now laying claim to Greek territory. And although everywhere else the Loyalists are getting stomped, they are actually making headway into New England territory. If the Loyalists are, at some point, going to be able to turn this around, it is going to be the biggest anime reversal of all time. So far, casualty reports coming in from the American Civil War. Loyalists have lost 56,000, while the Constitutionalists have lost 23,000. Loyalists are 42% towards capitulation. In what could be... The biggest save of all time. Raise the Free Corps. Look at all these troops that they're going to gain. This could change the war. Along with more 
Silver Legion troops. The Loyalists are now able to field three full armies. Maybe, just maybe, the Loyalist fortunes will turn around. The Loyalists are in the process of launching a massive counter-offensive against the Constitutionalists. This just in, out of Asia, the Empire of Japan has just declared on China. Usually that would be big news, but this Loyalist versus Constitutionalist is the big news. The Second American Civil War. The Loyalists, which are non-aligned but leaning fascists versus the Democratic Constitutionalists. It appears like the Loyalists are having some degree of success down here near Texas. They have stalled out everywhere else though. Another 10 divisions that just learned how to wipe themselves is now being deployed and thrown in to the meat grinder. The Loyalists have now lost 108,000 while the Constitutionalists have lost 71,000. The Loyalists are at 41% towards capitulation. The Constitutionalists are at 14%. But the Loyalists are starting to win in multiple areas. This could be the biggest anime upset of all time. Things had better start turning around because the Loyalists are completely out of manpower. That's probably not a good thing. Boom! Greece has capitulated. But look... Let's just sit back and watch this as the front line. Damn you. As the front line. Holy sh crap, what's going on? Can I get my news report out? As the. Oh my god. As the front line gets pushed back, you are watching it in real time. See how my allies are planning out all these moves, but I've, I mean. See how the Loyalists' allies are planning out all these moves, but haven't actually done anything yet? They don't even have troops here? Kind of comical. More Silver Legion troops are joining the fight, just what the doctor ordered. Almost four full armies now. The Empire of Japan has just joined the Axis faction, making it even stronger. Perhaps they will send some troops to help out the Loyalists. Everybody acts like they want to help the Loyalists with all these elaborate plans, but nobody ever comes through. And for the first time since the beginning of the Civil War, the Loyalists are less towards capitulation at 13% than the Constitutionalists are at 23%. The casualties are drawing closer. Breaking news from the Loyalists, they have recaptured Dallas, Texas, a major point, as well as Little Rock, Louisville. Although I think they might have already had that. But they took Pittsburgh. You would think all this reclaimed territory is bound to start helping them out with their zero manpower, but nothing so far. The Loyalists are experiencing major breakthroughs in Texas, but also huge news coming out from the Northeast Front. The Loyalists have captured Philadelphia and are about to split the Constitutionalist forces in half in 7th. Watch as the Loyalist lines expand into what was once Constitutionalist held areas. You see the front changing up here. You see them storming through Texas and heading towards the West Coast. It is an absolute bloodbath for the Constitutionalists. Oh, and look at this! The Loyalists actually have... Uh, never mind. 
Watch as the loyalists ferociously fight. Look at this breakthrough. Absolutely insane. This loyalist comeback. The greatest the world has ever known. Look at this loyalist bulge. What a beautiful bulge they've got going on. And yet another 11 troops. These ones were a little bit better schooled than the last batch. They learned a little bit more than how to wipe themselves. And I would almost guarantee we can call up more fascist. I mean, the loyalists can call up a more fascist troops. And they indeed can. This just in to brew news. The loyalists are planning yet another major offensive. The bulge has grown even longer. And now a little bit thicker. As other loyalist troops push in to New England. Heading towards the capital of the constitutionalist Boston. The loyalists have no manpower. 20,000 down in equipment and are still handing the constitutionalists a beat down. Oh, cr oh my god, look what I just... I mean, not I, I... Look what's happening! German! Spanish! Japanese troops are coming in! Oh my god, a ton of German troops! Oh, this... This is... That's it. It is over for the Constitutionalists. The Loyalists held out. But not just held out. Increased their territory... Oh my god, look at what is going on. The Japanese have landed and they are going to be throwing down the beat down the Constitutionalists have never seen in their lifetime. Oh my god, this is going to be a godforsaken bloodbath. Look at this, it's like an, it's like an anthill has been stirred up. They finally came. The Japanese. Look at look at this. There's a line of Japanese all the way from South America. Amazing. Amazing bringing this news anchors This news anchors emotions are high, bringing me almost to tears to see bros helping out bros like this. Have you ever seen anything as beautiful as when backup arrives? And the Japanese troops continue to flow in. Why did this not happen earlier with the German troops? It wasn't till Japan decided that they would come and bail us out that the Germans then decided to come in. But as you can see, it is paying off. The drive has intensified. All along the front, there is nothing but W's. It appears like troops from all nations, from Axis and Allies, have landed here in the U.S. to battle it out. German Reich formalizes anti-Soviet pack. The road to California is pretty much open. Not too many defending troops here. The drive into Canada is progressing. And this over here is at a stalemate. It's a godforsaken bloodbath. The casualty reports coming in now. The Loyalists have lost 641,000 to the Constitutionalists. 771,000. They are now 74% towards capitulation. The Loyalists are now 0% towards capitulation. Yet more Silver Legion troops are being called in. Amazing Silver Legion troops fight till the blast man. Norway has just capitulated. Look at what the German Reich is looking like now. Checking out the factions. The Allies have been taking a brutal beating. This just did another major 
Boom! Los Angeles has just fallen to the Loyalists. A major blow to the Constitutionalists. It is not looking good. This just in breaking news out of the US. The Constitutionalists have officially capitulated. Oh my god, that marks the greatest comeback in warfare history. Greatest anime comeback known to man. Known to anime. Brew News is going to be going off air momentarily, but I would like to thank you to the millions and millions of viewers out there that have watched, glued it to your television sets, the second American Civil War, and have seen the Loyalists with the greatest comeback known to man. Please stay tuned for what is inevitably going to be the invasion and destruction of Canada. And then... The Loyalist Bros from America, the Fascist Bros, the Silver Legion Fascists of America will be called upon to help out their brothers in the war with the Red Beast. And with that, Brew News will be signing off. If you have enjoyed this news broadcast, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I will see you back here for our next broadcast. Peace, Bruminati.